Now, after creating your fascia for the roof, you might also want to introduce roof gutters as well, depending on the level of detail you want to illustrate in your project. Now, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can create this feature easily and how you can even create your own custom profiles in Revit. And I'm also going to be showing you some tips and tricks you can use while placing this gutter. All right. So before we go on in the video, if you're new here, this is simple or difficult to provide you with easy to understand Revit tutorials and wholesome architectural content as well. Please do well to like and subscribe so that you can be part of this experience. All right. So without any further ado, let's just get straight to the video. So here we can see our building. So now the first thing we're going to do is just to place our gutter. All right. So we'll do that by coming over here to the roof drop down. Okay. Then select roof gutter. Now we'll select roof gutter. We'll just select an edge of the roof that wants to place our gutter. Okay. And the gutter works as a sweep. So we are going to just place it on the, we are going to pick the lines or the edges that we feel that the gutter should go. Now, given this being a hip roof, everything is sloping down. So we'll just place it on all sides of the roof. Now, as you can see, the shape of this gutter is very simple. Okay, this is like a default gutter that was given to us by Revit. Now, in the case where I want to change the shape of the gutter, you have to change the profile of the gutter. I'm going to show you how to do this in Revit. Okay, so we'll just select it, then go to the type properties here. Now you can see that the profile is on default here. Okay, so if you click on this drop down here, you can select any other different type of gutter profile. Now we can see M gutter bevel here, 125 by 125 mm. You can select this, then click apply. Now you can see that it's it's a better looking shape than that other one. Now, because of the limited options we have in our project, I'm just going to show you how to import or load this gutter profile families from our metric library if you have it installed all right so we'll just come over to the insert tab okay then go to load family english uk here we'll look for profiles okay then we'll look for roof so now these are the available options we already have this one which is the one inside the project already so we'll just select this then click open. All right, so we'll just click on our gutter here, then go to the edit type. Okay, so now in the type properties, we can just duplicate. Okay, can name it gutter custom. Okay, we'll come here, then we'll look for the one we just brought in, which is the gutter curve. So we'll just select anyone, probably 125 by 125. We'll leave the material as plastic. And there we have it. So now we've just successfully changed the shape of the gutter by importing the profile from our metric library. So now I'll just go ahead and select the gutter. Okay, then click on add or remove segments. All right, now just like the fascia, this tool is used to continually apply the gutter along this roof. Okay, and remember you must apply them on the consistent edge in order for them to join properly. Okay, so we'll just go around the building and apply the gutters to these other segments around the back okay so apply the okay, oops yes yeah, so apply it to the lower edge the consistent edge okay we'll just do this around the building here as well all right so we we'll just finish up this front here. All right. Now for this gable part, once we close here up, you can see that here is left open and we don't really need to go beyond this level. So we need something that to close this edge, same as this side as well. Now, how do we do this? It's quite simple. I'm just going to show you a simple way that I used to achieve that end detail of the gutter. So now I'll come over here to the project browser and click on the families. Now when we click on families, we'll go down here to profiles. 
we'll look for the sweep profile that we loaded from our metric library. So we'll come over here to profile gutter curve. Okay, I think that's the one. And I'm going to right click on this and select edit. Now we are in the family editor of this gutter profile. Okay, now this is a default Revit profile. And what we are simply going to be doing here is just creating a closed profile sketch. Okay, we are not going to make any significant change to the overall shape of the profile, but we are just going to close it so that we'll create a solid profile. Okay, just before we do anything else, I'll just like to save this profile as a different family. Okay, so we'll just go on to save us, then family. Okay, we'll rename it to Gotha Cove Cover, then click save. So now this is the shape of our gutter. So I'll just select these lines and I'll delete. Then I'll come here to create, then select line, then draw this line all the way to the end. Then I'll use the trim and extend to corner and I'll just shave them off. Okay. Then I'll delete these lines as well. All right, so now we have a solid cover. Now I'm just going to load this back into our project. Okay, right, good. So when we do this, now just for this end here, I'm going to create a new gutter. All right, so I'll just go to our roof drop down here, click on gutter, then edit type. Then I'll just duplicate this and call it gutter end cover. All right, good. So I'll come here to the profile. All right, then I'll change it to the cover. Yes. All right, so that is about that. All right, so I'll just leave it at plastic and uh, I'll close. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'll apply it to that same edge. All right, now it's sort of overlap that previous profile we just created, which is not a problem. What I'm going to just do is I'll select it. Then as you can see, we'll just drag it all the way to a certain thickness. Let's say 25. All right, then I'll use my join tool. Then we'll just join them. You can see it's absolutely perfect. So we'll just repeat the same process for the other side of the pitch. So we'll just go to our roof drop down and uh, use the gutter end cover. Okay, so we'll just do the same as we did for the other side. As you can see, it has created that solid gutter, which we are going to use as the cover. So we'll just impute 25. All right, so we'll come here using the join tool, we'll just join the two gutters, all right? Now, as I said, I'll show you how to create your own profile, just in case you are given a particular type of profile to use or a specific uh, shape of profile. All right, so we'll just go over here to the file tab, then we'll click on new, all right, then we'll go to family. Now we'll go all the way to metric profile, metric profile. So we'll just click on that, then click open. So in this our family editor, what we are going to do is we are going to create the sketch of our profile. Okay. So we'll come over here to our create tab and select the line. Then we'll just use the rectangle tool. Uh, if we have a particular dimension in mind, let's say, let's say 150 by uh let's say 150 right so we'll just okay sorry let me just select this then transfer it all the way here so now the reason i did this is because this point is where we are going to pick or the edge we are going to pick in the project okay this is the point of application okay so we are going to use these create lines all right and make our sketch okay so we'll just take a little offset here all right, then I'll just elaborate on this a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so then I'll use the fillet tool. Now, this is just an example, okay? So we'll just use our offset tool here, okay? And just create an offset of, let's say, 10. Okay, so we'll just apply
then we we'll use our trim tool and just trim everything down okay and join this all right so we'll just just to make everything clean and uh tidy okay so now we can see the profile we have just created all right so we'll come over here to the property palette and under profile usage we'll just click the drop down then select gutter when we load it into the project it will directly take this profile straight to the gutter okay so now after changing the profile usage now we'll just go ahead and save as okay we'll save it as a family then we'll just name it let's see let's name it profile new gutter all right so just save and we'll load it into our project So just go ahead and click this gutter then on the property palette we'll click the edit type button okay we'll just duplicate all right so we'll now come here and rename it to new or we'll just gutter new so we'll just look for the one that we just loaded in all right so that is profiles new gutter this one here all right so we'll just select this one leave it as plastic material then click ok now you can see so the new shape has been created and you can see it's perfect all right now so moving to the next part of this video i'm going to be showing you how to create down pipes in revit so first of all we'll just close these families then we'll go to elevation i'll start elevation all right so in elevation view here we'll just go ahead to our systems tab then under the plumbing and piping panel we'll just click on pipe all right so we'll just zoom into this area here then we're going to start drawing our pipe from here where the roof ends we'll just start drawing from here okay so we'll just or before we do before we draw okay we'll just go to options tab here under diameter we'll just choose here we have 65 80 90 so let's just go with 80 all right so we'll just um start drawing from here then we'll make our bend here but as we are as we are drawing this you can see there is an icon there or a symbol there representing restricted we can't make this bend because it's not possible this is because we don't have an elbow joint fitting and without that elbow joint fitting we can't just change the angle change the direction of pipes successfully so i'll just click on escape then i'll click on the pipe all right then we'll just go to our edit button in the properties palette now under this type properties dialog you see routing preferences okay we'll just click on edit now this dialog box provides us with a whole lot of options on how the pipe you know layout or how the pipe structure will be laid out okay so what we particularly need to achieve our downpipe is this elbow here this elbow joint here and as you can see if you click on the drop down no family is loaded into this into this field so now the simple way we are going to do this is by coming up here to load family okay in your library you just go to english okay then we'll just go to pipe okay so under pipe you see fittings now under fittings you see generic under generic you see elbow generic so we'll select elbow generic and open so now it's loaded into our project so we'll just click the drop down and select elbow generic so we'll just make this mean size minimum size in line with the pipe segment okay, which is 15 mm and 600 mm as maximum size Okay, now if you want to change the type of piping, you can come here and change it. This one is on carbon steel, you can make it plastic. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we'll just go to uh, OK, we we'll click Apply, and uh, we we'll click OK again. So now the next thing we're going to do, we'll just delete this one that we have created here. Then we'll just start the whole new run. Okay, so we'll just repeat the process. We we'll click it to we'll start from here. All right, then draw it down, then make our bend to 45 degrees most preferably it's up to you it depends on what you are doing now you can see that revit is now allowing us to change the direction of our pipe all right so here we can see it now you can also nudge it in the direction you want either left or right so that it will not intersect with most of your wall extrusions now if we go to our 3d view this uh piping was not particularly placed to uh, is setting a reference plane or it doesn't put in the, the right position okay so how i just going to do this is i'm going to select it 
that one by one. What I really like to do, I like to group them because you know they don't um, all select at once. You, know, you have to be picking them one by one. So me, I preferably like to group them. Okay, just create a group, call it downpipe, so that you can select them at once. All right, so um, you just go to the east elevation, I think. Yes, east elevation. So because of our view. Okay, we select this the the piping. Just change this to fine. We select the piping, then we we'll use the move tool and move it to where we want it to be. Okay, let's just we can place one here. We can also use the copy, the copy tool, and come along here and also place it. Let's say here. Okay, um, we can you know just repeat the process for like other parts of the building at your free time. So this is just the basic rundown of how to create downpipes in Revit, all right? All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it or learned from it, please give us a like. And if you are new here, do well to subscribe. We post tutorial videos like this every week and very interesting architectural contents as well, okay? And also don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss any of our weekly videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wings.